From Britain, the Challenger II, a highly reliable and extremely capable heavy tank. The Challenger II is the latest main battle tank produced by the pioneers of tank design. The British Army first introduced tanks to the battlefield in 1916 and have played an important role in their development ever since. The Challenger traces its heritage back to Britain's Chieftain tank. When the Chieftain entered service in 1966, it was the most heavily armored of all main battle tanks. With an emphasis on armored protection, the Chieftain's turret was carefully contoured to optimize the thick steel of its armor. The Chieftain balanced its superb protection with a powerful 120 millimeter gun, much larger than the 105 millimeter guns common to most tanks of the 1960s and 70s. But thick steel armor makes tanks heavy and slow, and the Chieftain was guilty on both counts. Britain needed a faster, more sophisticated tank. During the 1970s, under the codename Burlington, British designers developed a radical new type of tank armor. This complex composite armor became known as Chobham armor, named after the city in which it was developed. How it works and what exactly it's made from remain top secret, but it is highly effective. Most experts believe the armor consists of complex layers of metal and advanced ceramics. When the Challenger 1 appeared in the 1980s, it was the first British tank to incorporate this highly effective protection. Chobham armor made the Challenger nearly invulnerable to frontal attack from deadly high explosive anti-tank or heat rounds. Besides its enhanced protection, the Challenger was more mobile than the Chieftain. A 1,200 horsepower diesel engine and advanced suspension system gave the tank a top speed of 35 miles per hour and a smooth ride despite obstructions and rough terrain. One of the most important advances in tank design in the 1980s was in gunfire controls, which permitted the tank to fire on the move. The heavily armored turret of the Challenger weighs 20 tons, yet it must be moved with extreme precision to hit targets a mile or more away. In 1994, the Challenger II entered service in the British Army. The Challenger II has over 150 improvements to its predecessor, the Challenger I, and many entirely new features, such as its turret design. The Challenger II has even more sophisticated fire controls than its forerunner. A digital fire control computer controls the commander's sight, the laser rangefinder, and thermal imaging system for unprecedented accuracy. The Challenger II's stabilized 120 millimeter gun can fire a wide variety of munitions. Britain has a long history of supplying tanks to foreign armies. But many armies in the developing world cannot afford highly complex and expensive tanks. Besides producing the Challenger for the British Army, Elvis Vickers also designed less sophisticated tanks specifically for export. The Vickers Mark 7 is an example of British-German industrial cooperation with a Vickers design turret and a German Leopard 2 hull. Britain's strong traditions in tank design have led to critical technological breakthroughs like Chobham armor and the formidable Challenger 2, one of only a handful of modern tanks that can truly dominate a battlefield.